hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i have a video for you which is how to get the ringlets uh, a lot of you guys have asked me how i get the ringlets in my hair and it's all about the styling that i do and here's the video about it so as you see this is my freshly washed hair shampooed and conditioned um, and i had it up in the microfiber towel and if you can see it's pretty damp now it's not at all wet what I'm gonna do first is section my hair into uh, three different sections and they are mostly according to the different layers that I have because curly hair looks amazing layered if you have layered hair this will work really good with your hair so I'm gonna do it into a top section a middle section and a bottom section and most of the time I do three or two layers um, it just depends on the time that I have but for optimal ringlets and for a lot of ringlets this is what I do so I'm done with the first section I'm gonna do the second section and use the claw clip to um, section my hair As you can see my hair is all sectioned up and I will now start the styling process. Because my hair is damp I need it to be kind of wet so I'm gonna be uh, spritzing my hair with water uh, to the sections and uh, make sure that it has it is nicely wet and then I will apply my stylers. In today's video, I will be using the Briani Moisture Milk as my styler and I will use that as a leave-in. So I am taking a little bit of styler and then again spritzing it with water to make sure that it is uh, nicely emulsified and then I rub it in my palms, emulsify it and then apply it to my hair using the praying hands and the raking technique together. Once I've applied the leave-in, the next thing I do is take in the gel. Today I'm using the Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel and then take a tiny bit on my palms, emulsify it and then apply it onto my hair. I make sure that I spread it on all the strands of my hair and scrunch lightly. This scrunching is to make sure that the product is evenly distributed. I use a brush to create the ringlets. Today I am using the Briani Styling Brush. First, I wet the brush and brush my hair from the root in an outward motion. This helps create a light tension and the ringlets begin to form at the end of your hair clump. If you want smaller clumps, then you gently separate the curl clumps and then squish up your clumps. Do this for about 10 to 20 seconds to make sure that the ringlets hold up. Now you can see the definition in the section that we have styled and the other section which does not have any definition. Now let us style the other section in the same way. Now both the lower sections are styled. I do not want any cowlicks or random spaces in my hair so I will now scrunch both the sections together to make sure that if any curl clumps form they also form together which is fine by me. Now the lower section is styled and before I begin styling the middle section, I will clip the style section with one of my styling clips so that this does not interfere with my styling. Now I shall style the middle section the same way I style the lower section. I will first wet my curls, add the Briani Moisture Milk Bounce Curl Gel and then create the ringlets with the Briani Styling Brush.
styling the middle section, I will now scrunch the lower section and the middle section together to avoid any cowlicks and random spaces. Now before I style the last section, I will clip the style sections again. last section is a little bit different because I don't like middle part so I style the topmost section as a whole and then I part it once my hair is completely dry. Another thing to remember when you're applying your product and styling with the brush is to make sure that you style the hair away from the scalp. This will ensure that the hair doesn't stick to your scalp. Another thing that is not seen in this video is that once my top section is completely styled, I actually scrunch all of the sections together to make sure that I do not have cowlicks or again the weird spaces anywhere. Now you can see that this is my wet hair, wet styled hair and it does not have any cowlicks or it does not have any spaces. After styling, I mostly diffuse my hair uh, or like 99% of the times I will diffuse my hair and I start by hover diffusing and my whole hair to dry takes about 20 to 25 minutes using diffuser. So I use a Revlon diffuser and uh, once I realize my hair is starting to dry, I start with warm and then switch to cold. These are my results after styling and diffusing and these are 100% dry and the volume is not a lot because it's still day one but the volume increases on day two and three and I'm just crunching out the tiny cast that I have from, uh, from using the gel. I hope you all enjoyed my styling video and if you do try it let me know in the comments below what you liked and what you didn't like. And I'm also on Instagram as the Curly Noodle. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, do all of the things. You know what to do. And let me know if you did enjoy the video. Hope to see you all soon. Bye.